Hello everybody, this is Roll with Winter Bros. In this video presentation, we're going to culminate this series by showing you how to add even more free stuff from DAS 3D to your account. Now the first thing you want to do is go to the DAS 3D site, which is www.das3d.com, and you want to log in there uh, by clicking on that uh, little icon to the right. So you'll click here and you'll put your email address and your password that you originally logged in with. And then once you get logged in, you want to go over here to the, click this little shop link here, which will bring you into the actual DAS store, the main DAS store. So to get your free items, uh, if you scroll through here, we don't really, yeah, there's not really visible. So what you're going to do is up in this little search bar where it says search store, you're going to type 100% and then hit return. And it's going to list uh, all the stuff that is... Uh, 100% off at this point in time at DAS 3D. As soon as you get your uh, search results for the 100%, you're going to want to, if you just scroll down here to the bottom really quick, okay, if you, uh, if you have too many to see, we're going to click show all, I guess. We'll go back up here. We'll click show all so we can see them all at the bottom. There you go. So, this little checkbox, hide items I own, you'll want to make sure you check that so you don't see other things that you already have uh, in your account. And if you look here, you can also change over here the uh, how many items per page. We're just going to go ahead and go with all because we want to see everything. So as you can see, there's quite a few uh, free items. They're still loading down here at the bottom, the images. Quite a bit of stuff we still haven't gotten, uh, that we haven't gotten in our account that we... Uh, can still get for free uh, besides the stuff that comes with the initial load for your uh, DAS account. Now if you want to you can uncheck this and you'll see uh, some of the other stuff like this Hexagon beta is not the beta the Hexagon version you got this is a little bit updated version and you can click any of these icons to go to those product pages these thumbnails however uh, you didn't if you want to go see what they are all about or you can just add them all to your account so the quickest way to add these to your account is uh, there's this little shopping basket. If it's green, uh, that means uh, it's not in your basket yet. So we're just going to go up here to this sultry walk tutorial. Uh, although before we do, let's we'll start over another quick. Uh, if you see an item just says free with nothing else on it, it's always a free item at DAS 3D. But if you see the ones that say minus 100% and then a, a price that's been got a line through it, uh, those may uh, may not always be free. So if you don't have time to get everything that's free right at this point, you should at least go first and get all the ones that have the 100% off. And we'll show you how to do that. We'll just go use a couple of those for our first example. So for this game print plugin, which you may not be interested in, that's fine. You're going to pick what you want, but I we recommend you go ahead and get everything in your account, whether you use it or not. So we we'll click the little green basket for Add to Cart, and it's going to pop up on the next screen and it'll show the item and you'll have two choices continue shopping or checkout well now if you're done you can go ahead and do checkout and if you notice the basket up here there's that one item we just added to the cart and this number here this uh, little yellow one it'll change as you add more and more items to your account so since we want more items add added off our free search uh, results there we're going to go ahead and do continue shopping and it'll go back there and if you look here the little carts turn black and we can't click on it anymore because if we hover over it, it says it's already in our cart. So we'll go ahead and uh, pick a couple things. We'll just go ahead and get the pantomime. And sometimes when uh, you add something to your cart, you'll see a required products down below. Uh, likes to use this uh, this IGD pantomime uh, product. You'll need the Victoria 4.2 base. If you don't have that, you can go ahead and click it here and add it to your cart and purchase it. Uh, or you can just not. It's up to you. And just go ahead and get this in into your library for later. So if you do decide to purchase Victoria 4.2, you, you'll already have some free stuff to go with it. Of course, you'll see our cart changed to 2 up there. And we're going to click Continue. We're going to add one more item. We'll scroll back down here. And we're going to go ahead and get some... Uh, let's see if we can find us a nice-looking uh, actual a prop or a figure. Here, here's a coffee cup, free coffee cup. Let's go ahead and add that to our basket. 
and again you can see uh, now we have a couple things down here we have some other items that are by the same artist that made the coffee cup and there's also would be recommendations if you're interested in those so we have three items now in our carts so we'll go ahead and click the checkout button so we can uh, we're not it, we're gonna it's a purchase but it's really no cost it's gonna be zero dollars because they were all free items so we'll click checkout and once you get to your shopping cart you can see the items that you put into it and you can see the uh, individual prices here of course this game print you see was a 1995 but it's zero dollars at the moment of course these are zero zero because they're always free and it'll tell you the subtotal on the right over here any discounts you got which everything was free uh, and then so when you get down to that you're gonna click this proceed to checkout to add those to your account and of course there is a remove button here if you do want to remove something before you proceed to checkout and they also have a move to wish list if you just want to put in your wish list if it's a paid for item normally if it's free you might as well just go ahead and get it then when you get to this uh, final checkout, you'll have to make sure uh, they get some mandatory fields over here. You know if it's going to be a zero cost item, like you see it's grand total zero. Before you click the place order, uh, you have to make sure these are filled out. And this is the first time we've gone through here and used this for our account. So we'll have to fill these all out with our name and address. And then once you do all that, you'll just click the uh, place order button. Then once your order is successfully completed, you'll get the order number here. So if you ever want to refer back to it. And of course, you can click this continue shopping to uh, go ahead and uh, add more things to your cart and recheck out. Or you can use download and install for the NAS install manager. Go ahead and install those items uh, into your NAS studio. We also recommend you just go ahead and go to th click your little, uh, the little man up here. And you click your my account so you can go check your product library if you want to see where those things are at. And here you can see we've gone to our product library, and indeed you can see here's the coffee cup, the IG3, uh, GD Pantomime, and the game print plugin are all here in our product library. So, like I said, once you've purchased these and they are in your library, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about uh, if a product is discontinued, uh, you'll still have access to it in your product library through DAS 3D. We hope you enjoyed this video presentation and take advantage of uh, the additional free items available at DAS3D for your account. Have a great day.